Hey, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Yu Kurosaki Senko series. This is the SG2 Nakiri 165mm knife. Uh, so this uh, line of knives has a core cutting edge steel of SG2 full stainless powdered metallurgy steel. He treats about 62, 63 Rockwell, easy for me to say. Uh, it is all stainless, so there's a soft stainless cladding with an interesting pattern. You can see they're kind of a almost like a star pattern on it, uh, on either side of that core steel, so it's all stainless for easy maintenance. Uh, this uh, SG2 steel will take a nice edge and will it has really quite good, e excellent edge retention as long as you put a good edge on it, so it's a great, great knife steel, kitchen knife steel. Uh, the weight on this one, these will vary just a little bit from dimensions and weight from knife to knife. This particular one is 166 grams or 5.8 ounces and the edge length right about 160 abusable space from the back of the heel to starting to get towards that curve, the usable part of that tip area. The overall length is about 310 millimeters or about 12.2 inches and then spine thickness wise uh, it's pretty thin overall uh, I got about 2.1 millimeters of thickness in the back and then about two in the middle and about two towards the tip or the, should say the front of the blade and it's fairly stiff um, given this construction it's pretty stiff uh, for how thin the knife is you can see there's a lot of polish to this knife so there's a polished spine you got some polish on the sides um, handle is well let's do this first uh, the height is about 53.3 at the back and I measured about 51.6 halfway down so it's a little bit taller at the back Handle is just good kind of standard basic octagonal walnut handle with a maple ferrule on it and nice fit and finish on the handle. Uh, well done. It's got it's kind of a, I don't know if it's a, what kind of, it's pretty smooth finish. Uh, it looks like you've got a coating on there of some kind, but a very nice glue up job where the tang goes into the handle. So nicely sealed up there. The balance point is going to be about right there. And that's, for me, just a touch in front of my pinch grip, which is nice on this tile of knife. You want a little bit of weight forward uh, balance to it for a little bit of cutting power. You can see he's got kind of an interesting shape that he likes to do on this line as well. Kind of bumps up just about right here. Let's get our beauty shot on this. This has a fair amount of polish to it. You can see uh, the kanji there. It's actually hand engraved kanji. So if we look a little closer you'll see this kind of star pattern for the cladding and then there's your kanji it's hand engraved actually in this one I'm gonna take that back I think it's laser engraved yep uh, it's yeah that's laser engraved I had a different one with a, a Western handle on it that was uh, hand engraved this is laser engraved and then here's the left side of the blade A little hard to tell here, but there's the cladding, there's the core. You can see that wavy line there, so that's your cladding, and there's your core peeking out from the bottom of that. Uh, fit and finish, very, very nicely done. They've got a nice rounding and polishing on the spine. He's done a lot of work rounding and polishing on the choil the, and the, the neck, so super comfortable. Six on the out, out of ten on the out of box edge on my scale, so it's, it's decently sharp. It's a serviceable edge. You can definitely probably get it sharper. So let's take a look at how this Nikiti works on the cutting board. All right. So this one has, um, and most Nikitis with this rounded tip, you can rock them almost as much as you want just because it's not a pointed tip, it's a rounded tip. So you can rock the heck out of them, no problem. You can see that. This has a pretty flat section towards the back, kind of flows into a stop right there. But you've got a nice cutting section back there. It's fairly flat overall, but it does have a little bit of belly coming up towards the front. That's kind of good. The flatter a Nikita is, the more precise you've got to be being parallel to the cutting board. Otherwise, you'll start knocking the front or back. So this has a little forgiveness to it. So it's got a good chopping section in the back. And then you could rock this, no problem. Tip draws, easy peasy. So excellently crafted knife, all stainless, looks cool. Um, great blacksmith, so this is a nice package. This is the Yu Kurosaki Senko SG2 Nakiri 165mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.